Hi, this is the video presentation for lifelong learning using eigentasks presented at the fourth lifelong machine learning workshop at ICM in 2020. This is joint work with my colleagues, Jesse, Indranil, Abrar, and Ajay at SRI International Princeton. I'm Ashwin. The setup is as follows. The environment consists of a set of discrete, possibly infinite tasks, each task associated with a probability forming a task distribution. From the task distribution, a set of learning episodes are drawn where each task is seen for a varying length. These are given to a learner. The learner does not have any way of identifying which task generated which data and is not aware of the task boundaries as well. The learner has to optimize for a hypothesis that works equally well on all tasks and for all sequences of tasks shown here as the double expectation. Uh, the evaluation consists of two key metrics, backward transfer and forward transfer. Backward transfer reflects forgetting of old knowledge when learning new knowledge in this incremental learning setup. Forward transfer corresponds to relative gain in uh, speed for learning new knowledge with and without old knowledge. For precise definitions, please see the paper. This paper advances the state of the art in the generative memory approach to lifelong learning and control, uh, continual learning. The generative memory approach consists of a generator P of X and a skill or a classifier P of Y given X. And it gives you a way to learn a classifier or a skill on uh, incrementally on a set of tasks or a stream of data by using augmentation to generate examples from old tasks in order to learn new tasks. So it works as follows. We observe an epoch of the blue task, for example, we train the skill uh, and we train the generator on the blue task. When we move to the green task, uh, the uh, generator generates examples from the blue task that are labeled by the skill, which has also learned the blue task. And together, the union of these two data sets is uh, learned by the skill again and uh, used to train this generator again. We repeat the process for the red task, uh, generating all previous tasks that have been seen so far, labeling them using the skill and uh, memorizing them again. So obviously the limitation is that here we are uh, the approach generates all old tasks seen so far. There's no way to selectively transfer knowledge from relatively similar tasks to the new task. We take inspiration from another model to fix the limitations of the generative memory approach. This model called the mixture of experts involves training a bunch of different skills here, skill one, skill two, skill three, and a gating module which selects uh, based on the input which skill to use for each input. So essentially it partitions the task space using a set of skills. Um, the gating module uh, gives us an implicit task similarity measure to uh, uh, say which data belongs to which task by saying which skill should be applied to which data. The limitation here is uh, the mixture of experts model is prone to catastrophic forgetting when the number of tasks is much greater than the number of skills. Uh, in addition to this, the, uh, they are tricky to train because of the presence of deadlocks uh, uh, due to uh, basically an EM style of training. Contributions in this paper are as follows. We introduce the Eigen task framework that learns a set of skills, each skill solving a group of tasks. Each skill is paired with a generator to sample from the input space of the skill. So the mixture of expert component facilitates forward transfer and the generative component avoids forgetting. The icon task framework is generic for any generative model. We propose a concrete instantiation of icon tasks using variational autoencoders as the generator. This model called the open world PAE partitions the data based on a likelihood ratio test in the latent space of the VAEs. We show that it is possible to learn the grouping of data as well as a skill for each group 
using a loss function and end-to-end -end learning. Um, the direct application of OWBAE can uh, have low quality of the generated examples. We propose a sampling strategy that improves the quality of generative replay from OWBAE. Using the OWVAE, we show how eigentasks can be used for lifelong supervised learning as well as lifelong reinforcement learning. Both of these algorithms operate in a general wake sleep cycle. The purpose of the wake phase is to transfer knowledge from old tasks from the OWVAE to a new task and to learn the new task to optimality. The purpose of the sleep phase is to incorporate the new task knowledge into the OWBAE model and to avoid negative backward transfer. The general definition of eigentask is as follows. Each eigentask is a triplet G, tau, and D. G is a generative model generating inputs X. D is any discriminator mapping X to outputs Y. And tau is a function that maps inputs X to a number between zero and one, which reflects the likelihood of applying that skill for that particular input. The general loss function is an expectation over tau of the combined generative and discriminative losses. The figure on the right shows an OWVAE where the generators have been instantiated with uh, VAEs uh, with latent space Z1 and Z2. Notice that the input is common for both eigentasks and there is no sharing between the parameters of both eigentasks. This figure shows two eigentasks with latent space Z1 and Z2 uh, outputting reconstructions X1 hat and X2 hat. Finally, the skill outputs Y1 hat and Y2 hat. The similarity function tau can be learned as a separate neural network similar to the gating module in a mixture of experts model. However, for OWVAE, we define tau as a function of the likelihood of the latent variable z according to the prior distribution uh, phi which is the standard gaussian so tau hat here is defined as uh, softmax over phi of z1 over the max of phi of z1 and z2 notice that tau is a function of encoder weights using this definition of tau and loss function what we are trying to uh, do is shown in the right figure all of task one examples are encoded closer to the origin according to VAE of eigen task one that is shown here as the blue circle. All of task two examples are encoded closer to the origin according to the VAE of eigen task two. With these definitions, it is possible to learn eigen tasks in the offline setting where data from all tasks are available beforehand. However, a direct application to the incremental setup does not work. This is illustrated in a simple problem here using two dimensions. The input consists of two tasks shown in blue lines uh, corresponding to two Gaussians. Uh, the two Gaussians are mixed with proportion one quarter and three quarter. The first figure shows one eigen task which corresponds to a standard VAE. You see that it is not able to capture both modes of the input distribution. When we use two eigentasks, both modes are perfectly captured. And when we use three eigentasks, that is the rightmost figure, we see that two of the eigentasks capture two real modes and the third eigentask is not being used at all and has a density around the origin according to the variational prior. The issue is, in order to do continual learning using OWVAE, we need to generate high quality examples from previous tasks. When we sample according to the three eigen task model, all samples from component zero are noise. We show that a simple trick can alleviate this issue and limit the number of noisy examples generated by the OWVAE. Pseudocode shown here is for a rejection sampling strategy. Essentially, for each eigentask, we sample a latent vector per usual um, and decode it uh, using the corresponding decoder to generate x hat and label it according to the skill to generate y hat. 
such as x comma y is rejected if the scale has a low confidence on the prediction. Uh, in addition to that, we also reject overrepresented classes and generate a balanced data set over all labels. That concludes the description of the sleep phase when using OWVAE for lifelong supervised learning. We don't do anything special in the wake phase for supervised learning. The new task examples x comma y are simply stored in a buffer until the buffer is full and we proceed to the sleep phase. However, there are algorithms available in the literature for learning from streaming data for such wake phase learning. Next, we describe the application of Eigen tasks to lifelong RL. Here, tasks correspond to MDPs. We propose a new wake phase for lifelong RL when using Eigen tasks as the memory. First, state from the new task is used to identify the most relevant skill according to the OWVAE model. The most relevant skill is used to define an exploration policy for exploring the new task efficiently. We use an off policy actor critic method, for example, Btrace, to implement this exploration policy. Specifically, a behavior policy is defined as the mixture of the skills and the target policy that is being learned for the new task. The target policy here denoted as student is mixed with a constant fraction. Each of the skills is mixed with a proportion corresponding to the tau values assigned by the OWBA. In order to evaluate Eigen tasks on lifelong supervised learning, we considered two benchmarks. The first is the standard split MNIST benchmark from the continual learning literature, where a task corresponds to a pair of MNIST digits and a total of five tasks are introduced to the learner incrementally. The second benchmark is a new benchmark that we created involving a mix of MNIST and fashion MNIST digits. Here, a task corresponds to one MNIST digit and one fashion article. A total of 10 tasks are incrementally shown to the learner. We compared to several approaches from the state of the art, as well as a couple of useful baselines. Long story short, in the split MNIST benchmark, the Eigen task approach has a performance comparable to the compared methods. However, when we move to the split MNIST plus fashion MNIST benchmark, the state of the art methods degrade due to the mix of images from two different data sets that corresponds to two different modes in the input distribution. The Eigen task approach performs best on the new benchmark where it is able to successfully separate MNIST digits into one Eigen task and fashion MNIST articles into another Eigen task and learn a corresponding skill for each of them. In terms of ablation, we observe that the rejection sampling strategy helps to improve accuracy by improving the quality of generated examples. Even in the case of one Eigen task, that is standard VAE, the rejection sampling strategy improves accuracy, suggesting that existing methods can also benefit from the rejection sampling approach. Finally, we present results for lifelong RL using Eigen tasks. We use the video game StarCraft II as our domain. As tasks, we use mini games that were presented in earlier work. These mini games can be divided into three broad categories, one involving combat, two involving navigation, three involving a combination of navigation and combat. In terms of task separation, we see that the OWBA is able to separate most of the tasks and assign meaningful skills to them. This is part of an unsupervised pre-training step where a random policy is used to gather examples, states from the mini games and stored in a buffer. Then the OWVAE is used and we find that it clusters all the combat tasks together 
and it clusters most of the collect resources tasks together. The figure on the right also shows task separation by looking at the average tau value as we go through the sequence of tasks. The first few tasks are being learned by the green eigen task and they actually correspond to combat tasks. As we go to the next set of tasks, that is the gathering task, eigen task zero is starting to learn those tasks. Um, the red task, which is uh, eigen task two, does not seem to be used for any of the tasks here. We see clearly that for any given task, one of the eigen tasks is taking responsibility and no single eigen task dominates throughout. Again, detailed experiments are available in the paper for different kinds of source and target tasks. Here, we only present one result that we think is remarkable. Here, the target task is a defeat zerglings and banelings task. That is a novel combat task that has not been seen before. Number one is a combination of a collect task and a combat task. Um, here, the combat task has high similarity to the target task and the collect task is not really relevant. Number two is a combination of a collect task and another navigation task called move to beacon. Both of these have low similarity to the target task. The result shown here compares the eigen task approach using scenario one and two to the baselines of single task learning as well as multitask learning. In single task learning, the agent starts from scratch and learns using the simulator directly on the target task. In the multitask setup, the agent has simultaneously sampled examples from all tasks and is jointly learning across them. We see that the eigen task approach is able to significantly outperform both single task RL and multitask RL under setting number one. This is because using the defeat roaches policy to explore the new task is very effective at finding high reward. This can be seen by the jump start in performance at iteration zero. The asymptotic policy is about one and a half times better in terms of reward over the best published policy for this domain. If we continue training for about 10x more training iterations, we see that the single task learner is finally able to catch up to the Eigen task approach. In summary, this paper introduced the Eigen task framework and a concrete instantiation for it. We showed experiments in both supervised learning and reinforcement learning, the lifelong setup. Um, the Eigen task framework is able to separate tasks out of streaming data and assign skills or learned hypotheses to each grouping of tasks. And the use of such a model is it allows selective forward transfer to tasks based on an implicit notion of task similarity. It also is capable of learning without forgetting due to replay mechanisms. There are several possible improvements the most immediate ones being uh, using a hierarchical structure for the eigen tasks, similar to hierarchical mixture of experts, and to be able to grow and shrink the number of eigen tasks uh, in order to deal with the model misspecification issue. Uh, we presented a general wake sleep cycle uh, involving eigen tasks, and this can incorporate many approaches in the literature. Thank you for watching the video and feel free to email me uh, or post questions in the chat.